This is the frozen in time effect. Here's how to do it. To get started, fill up a glass of water. You need some sort of element that'll really stand out frozen in time. Now, it doesn't have to be a liquid. It could be something as simple as a deck of cards mid shuffle. Now, the secret to this effect lies in your camera settings. Set your shutter speed to at least one over 500, but the higher, the better. I went with one over 2000 for this example. You're freezing motion mid air, so any blur is gonna ruin the illusion. So lock in that crispy detail, then fake the rest in post. Now standing in frame, shake your hand hard enough to spill the water, but keep your body still. Then snap your head to the camera, frozen in place and deliver your line. This is the frozen in time effect. So you guys wanna make sure you're in a space that can afford to get wet as this one's gonna get a little messy. The key here is really just a combination of a high shutter speed and keeping your body as still as humanly possible. Now go ahead and fire up Premiere Pro. And while that loads, there's actually a plugin I've been using lately that quietly changed the game. So you can now access millions of free stock assets and a powerful animation preset system, no after effects required. Just drag and drop right into your timeline. Try it for free today at brevity.pro. So now that Premiere is loaded up, I'll show you the full clip I'm working with so you can see how to strategically cut it in the next step. This is the frozen in time effect. Go to the moment you want the freeze to happen and alt drag to duplicate your clip. On the bottom layer, right click and add a frame hold. This freezes that layer. Now with your top layer selected, split it at the same point and delete the first section. Move ahead to the point where you're about to turn your head, make a cut on both layers and delete that middle section. Now don't worry about the background shifting. As long as your head stayed still while filming, you're gonna be good. Then mask around the neck and head on your top layer, feather it slightly and keyframe the mask path to stay precise throughout the entire clip. Select all your layers and nest them together. Now you can keyframe a slow zoom and finally add some custom sound design to tie it all together. This is the frozen in time effect. And if you wanna try this out yourself, check the description of this video because I left the project file and raw footage in there for you. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.